Hey, what's good, everybody? It's me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, and you are watching and listening to a brand new episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. And joining me, as always, are my co-hosts, Rebellious D and Trav. How you fellas doing today? Peachy. Splendid. Splendid. I okay, like splendid. that. Okay, splendid. I, I like that. It, it uh, reminds me of Splendid Tea. Well, I was about to say, sugar or Splenda in your tea or coffee? Uh, Ooh, sugar, I, dude. I got sugar. I, Sugar. I'm like I'm like Luke <laughs> I'm like Luke Cage. I don't add sugar. Oh, see, oh, oh I can't yeah. I I can't do the uh the black coffee. No, what's wrong yeah. with the black coffee? The black coffee is it's too strong for your boy. <laughs> hey, hey, well, that's I how Luke Cage it. likes it though. I can't handle it. Hey, well, that's Luke. We talk. <laughs> this is Trav, <laughs> <laughs> and I need some right. Splenda. Hey, <laughs> and uh, joining us on today's episode is the talented. Mrs. Daisy Guevara. How are you doing today, Daisy? I'm good. Hi. Hi, yeah, everyone. Hey, <laughs> hey, I love it. She's happy. Thank you for joining us on a brand new episode Thanks of Leveling Up with me. Benjamin Banks. Uh, right. You know, like yeah. I always say, I slide in the DMs. And right. like Trav says, it's, it's like sliding down the hill. You slide right. in. Sometimes you, you stop. Put on the skis. On the skis. Ah. Well, no. Well, see, Trav, when you slide in the DMs, you're on the skis. I'm on the right. snowboard like my boy Johnny Tsunamis. Oh, oh okay. Lord. Go yeah, big or go yeah. home. Look at this guy. Yeah, I'm taking it there, man. So uh, I bet you is. Before we get into today's interview, make sure that you like this video, you subscribe to the channel, and you hit that bell button so that way you're always notified when we have new content here on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. And D, take it away. Podcast in the description. Yes, there you know what I'm is. saying. Like, follow, subscribe. Hey, where hey, else D, would it be besides D, the description? I'm, I'm just telling uh, you, man. It is everywhere. Check us out. It's so good hearing your voice again, man. It's just like, I'm glad that we brought you back to life, bro. I'm glad. Hey, why? Especially I mean, with the way that he was, he was just telling people straight up, man, that, hey, D he, dead. Hey, yeah, he, hey, you was dead. He had no remorse in his voice. Though, yeah, hey, Trav, and I hey, appreciate D's you telling dead. me that. I know. I was like, guy, oh my I have some sympathy for my man. Talk about some sympathy for him, too. Okay. Uh, nah, uh, I don't know. Uh, you no. want to be the number one hero, at like it. Exactly, hey, Endeavor. Chill hey, out, Endeavor. Hey, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> hey just, just relax. Just relax, man. But, hey, I think y'all and Dave's about to have a smile off. Hey, I, we need to have a smile off. Right? A hey, smile so look off. right. Uh oh. <laughs> I told I told Daisy because it's like y'all know for everybody that's watching on YouTube. Mm -hmm. If you're listening to this right now, and I always do the slideshow for our YouTube videos, and like I was looking through her photos, and I was just like, man, she has a really amazing smile. <laughs> hey, look, she's doing it right now. But hey, if you're you. listening, you have to watch this on YouTube so that way that right. you can see it. If you're listening, right just know Daisy got a great smile. We about oh, to have a smile. Oh, but like, but Trav, you. you know, since you want to say a smile off, like, like how does a smile off go? Is it like a dance? It's like a, no, it's moves. like a, it's like a bass battle. <laughs> so you just Scott Pilgrim? You just, so you smile? just keep on smiling. Hey, like, I guess I guess uh for the judge could be the Joker from Batman animated series because oh, he snap. had oh. a big smile. <laughs> yeah, he does. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I didn't mean who had the best smile. I just meant who's gonna smile the most. Uh we'll the see. Ghost with the I most? Mean, she, yeah, we'll she's, been, yeah, she's been smiling a lot, so uh mm -hmm. I'm just gonna are go you, ahead and throw are this you a one giggler? In. I am I am a giggler, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the giggler. The giggler. Yeah, I love that movie. I like the that. giggler, too. <laughs> Based. <laughs> so yeah, um, so Daisy, thank you again for joining us up here. Uh, something that we always do with our guests mm. is everybody who reads comic books or manga, they love origin stories. So who is Daisy Guevara? What is your origin story? Tell us. Are you a hero or are you a villain? Let us know. Oh, Ooh. damn. What, went right Jeez. for it. I know. Hey, the, the juggler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I am a hero born in in the Chelsea neighborhood of New York City. Hell yeah. Uh, born and raised. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to uh, Chelsea. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> nobody, nobody ever says that. Like, hey, I'm from Chelsea. Whoop, whoop. Nobody whoop, ever whoop. says that. No. And we ain't talk about the soccer team. No. <laughs> <laughs> but Chelsea's like downtown uh, just before 34th Street. So it's kind of like, oh, wow. it's a nice hey, neighborhood. Hey, that don't mean, that don't Would mean you nothing. say bougie? Nothing to us from Virginia. We don't know no, what I that don't. means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, but at least in New York, you know, you got a hey, bunch they, of buildings and whatnot. Know. Like here, yeah. it's like it's just country. It's a bunch yeah, of trees. I went to middle and high school. I love that. And I, you. 
You should come down here sometime. But yeah. The ocean front's like that, where it's like numbered. You know, yeah, it, ocean front, right. o- yeah, 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 ocean front, ocean view, downtown north. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking. About. You're talking about the streets. Ocean, hey, hey ocean view is streets. like it too. The, the streets. streets is real, <laughs> real out here. In out the here streets. in Chelsea. Oh. Out here in Chelsea, dog. <laughs> Come see your hey, boy. It's like when I hear Chelsea, I think of uh, Neo Yokio. Oh, oh, hey, you know what I think? <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen that. Oh, hey, man, you ain't you missing nothing. Just, no, hey, just watch Pete Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> exactly. Just watch yeah, just, Pink if you're going to watch, yeah, watch. I mean, I don't know, because even with Pink Christmas, the way it ended, it was just like, that's it. Okay. Very abrupt. But, hey, that song is oh, a slapper. Yeah. Thank you, Trav. Uh, that's slapper. exactly what I was going for. You know what I think of when I hear Chelsea? I just what? think of white white chicks. I just think, <laughs> oh, yeah. I think like you're out walking your dog, Terry Crews making your way downtown, in a convertible, uh-huh. singing a little jam. Oh, it's it's not like that, but we do have nice buildings over here. <laughs> I heard that? Did the birds gotta sing? Love, gotta love a good building. Oh, yeah. so he said, Se- "Do the birds we have seagulls sing. over here for some reason?" Uh, oh, what? Hey, you have a uh, there's yeah. water. Virginia know. knows about the seagulls. Yes. Is it a right. flock of seagulls? It's usually hey. like a, a good flock of them. Usually Did you know you could use seagulls to guide yourself to water? Did y'all know that? Yeah. No, I didn't. That's where they're headed. Yeah. Yep. That makes Seriously. sense. Yep. What was the song by Flock of Seagulls? Yeah, that's what I that's why I said a flock of seagulls. I was talking about the song. It isn't um <laughs> and I ran, is it? Was that no, you yeah, that was the song and I uh, yeah, ran. Yeah, yeah, I ran, right? Yeah. I ran. So I don't know the name of it. Far away. That's a sick song, dude. So oh, simple. Yeah. It's so and good. Hey, I gotta go my gym playlist. Oh, Travis hey, hey, Kelly. Guys, 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 hey. guys, guys. Chill, oh, chill. Wait, it's wait, like try- she, She's sitting here trying <laughs> to tell on. her origin story. That's and right. He just snowballed. snowballed. Uh, he snowballed. Look, Travis right. getting ready for his uh, his power line. Oh, that's right. You hear him over here saying, hey, let that man say, hey, bro. Don't bring up the bad memories <laughs> hey. of me missing my opportunity. Oh, no. yeah, it'll come back, bro. <laughs> D, before, hey, before you joined up here, when we were in the lobby, Mm-hmm. We was talking about that. It's like mm-hmm. Trav, Jason Mars. It's my like shot. Trav, you gotta shot. redeem yourself. It's it's gonna be like Tosh point oh. We're gonna bring you back. We're gonna bring Jason Mars <laughs> back if we can get him. And uh you you gonna sing with him. Got to. Mm-hmm. If we get him, dude, you gotta take the That'd shot be like so you cool. It would be. It yeah. would be. It would be. But yeah, Daisy, continue your story. <laughs> yes. Uh Chelsea, yes. Um <laughs> yes. uh I, I grew up in, in theater uh, ever since I was like seven years old. And uh, I stumbled onto voice acting in college. I've always wanted to be a voice actor ever since I was a kid. And uh, and one of my classmates at that time uh, became a casting director. And she reached out to me and wanted me to audition for an anime. Nice. And I booked it and that was like my first audition into voice acting and it's kind of slowly robo- uh, snowballed ever since. So hey, she Noise. said the word y'all, I- <laughs> yes, she said snowball and we didn't have to tell her to say it. Yeah. Yeah. The crab, what does she win? Do I um, win anything? Uh, a lifelong membership to the leveling to say, up with Benjamin Banks. Hey, <laughs> and I was going to give her the, a flock of seagulls on vinyl. Hey, oh, go. God. Try it. easy now. Wow. <laughs> hey, that, right. hey, that, hey, that's a lot of money, man. I, I don't that's think the patrons hey, are that covering vinyl. us with that, man. Hey, don't worry. Hey, I got the ear. Don't worry about it. Oh, Lord. I'll here it is. Yeah. Okay. Trav the sword collector. He's back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I, I love I love that, uh, you know, your friend, she reached out to you. What anime was it that you had auditioned for? Yeah, so how that started was, so in college, um, I wanted to start looking for voiceover classes. <clears throat> and I found out that Bang Zoom Entertainment was coming into New York to do a workshop for voice acting and, and mostly for like animation and ADR. So that's when I met Brittany Lauda and Matt Shipman, um, who are casting director slash engineer for Coach of Sound mm-hmm. um, and who work with Funimation now on certain anime titles. And um, so we departed and I went to do my own thing with theater. Um, she reached out to me and she was like, what are you doing nowadays? And I'm like, I'm in theater. She was like, are you still interested in voice acting? And I was like, yeah. She was like, you want to audition for this anime called Ladies versus Butlers? Mm. And um, I said, sure. <laughs> I know. I, I want to ask you a question after you finish. Weird. I want to ask you a question. <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah. And so she reached out to me, uh, and I auditioned for it and I booked it. And that was like my first supporting role. Mm-hmm. Nice. 
Yeah. Now, ladies versus butlers. Um, is this the anime where like there's this video or gif that circles the web where there's this uh there's this butler giving a German suplex to a deer? Is that that anime? I don't know. <laughs> I have like, to see the meme. Yeah, that sounds wild. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's like Sounds seen, amazing. Yeah, it's like, it's a it's a video where it's just like that. It's a deer and a butler fighting each other, and then the butler <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> he flies behind the deer and gives him a German suplex. So Jeez. yeah, I mean it, it's it's funny. It's, it's very funny. The pictures I'm seeing, the gifts that I'm seeing though, this anime look fire. Like yeah. I didn't think it was gonna be like this fighting anime with swords and stuff. Um, yeah, this could be the anime, though, bro. I don't know, man. It looks wild. I mean, it's a butler. Look at, yeah. It's, it's, a, a, it's butler. a butler. Hey, I, <laughs> hey, all I'm going to say is, um, you know, Jeffrey Butler on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, <laughs> you know, he won't play him. I, I can nah. see him being in this anime. He He's he's who inspired this anime, ah! just to let you know. I just, I just uh, saw <laughs> I just saw the gif of it. It's not the same anime though. The, what is it? What is that one, Trav? I don't know. It's not the same though. <laughs> uh, I, I though. could just tell from the animation and the characters. Yeah, yeah. The same yeah. Thing. Sounds okay. pretty funny. Whatever. But that is, it is, it sounds pretty like, funny. What? No, it's literally what he sounds. He turns the deer around and he <laughs> suplexes the damn deer. Jesus. <laughs> like why? Yeah, like, do you think later. that the deer was uh, walking in front of his car and he's like, "I'm tired of this." He hit the Samuel I'm Jackson. I'm tired of this. I'm, I'm tired, <laughs> I'm tired of these mofo off. snakes on this mofo plane. Oh, yeah, and then, hey, real talk. That was a good movie, man. I don't care and what that, anybody said. The anime. The anime is called Michochi. And the dude was the principal. Oh, he wasn't a Oh, it was a principal. It was a principal, principal versus okay. deer. <laughs> <laughs> I like, you I like I'll go to YouTube later. Yeah, just YouTube. Yeah, principal versus deer. This is what oh, comes geez. up. This is hey, amazing. Death battle. Anime! Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> death battle. Death battle. Make it now. Like, give all the stats on the deer. Give all the stats on the principal and let them have their rematch. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, Daisy, like, I think it's cool that, you know, you grew up wanting to be a voice actor and mm. get into it and whatnot like what were some cartoons or anime that you watched growing up that inspired you to want to become a voice actress oh man we were so lucky when growing up we had say yes we were we had dragon ball we had inuyasha we had pokemon we had Oh, mm -hmm. all of those i inspired me and just influenced my life so freaking much yeah um if there ever was a day when i get to voice like in a Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon episode or in a series or in a season, I will ball <laughs> because it, it because it's just it, it affected my life so much and it wanted me to become a, a voice actor like Veronica Taylor, who plays like Ash Ketchum. Yeah. Um, what a queen. Um, mm -hmm. And I look up to her so much and um, it just she affected me and she and i wanted to become a voice actor through her acting and i hope that like in the future i'd be able to do the same and like these kids shows i think that'd be so cool you are like for real like yeah. honestly <laughs> it's like you just don't know you know who's watching the show and listening right. to your voice and it's just like i want to be just like her she inspired me to want to be a voice actor mm, uh, right. i mean it's the same thing for me like with wrestling like the Rock, he was my favorite wrestler growing up. And I was just like, man, mm -hmm. I, I want to be a wrestler and I want to be just like The Rock. But then it's one of those things where it's just like, okay, I don't want to be like The Rock. I want to be like myself. So that mm -hmm. way I can inspire somebody. So, you know, you just spoke it into existence and uh, it is going to happen. You okay. just never know. Like, like 20 years from now, you're going to be at a con and you're going to be sitting next to a voice <laughs> actress and she's going to be like, yeah, I saw your commercial with the the sugar candy girls and <laughs> the sugar candy girls and it inspired me to want to be a voice actress and bam there you go man i'm not gonna let you disrespect the sugar friends like that bro. <laughs> hey i'm gonna call them the sugar candy girls man no, hey they're not they're not these sugar friends they're, they're my, my sugar, sugar friends <laughs> exactly <laughs> but no but that's that's awesome you know like when you say you grew up watching this stuff and it's like this is what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, now I want to take it back to when you were a kid, mm -hmm. Sailor Moon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon mm -hmm. Ball Z. Like when you were playing, like, do you have any siblings? I'm only child. Okay. So mm -hmm. your friends. So were you in the park, you know, 
doing Kamehameha's, Gallic Guns, uh, doing the Sailor Moon transformations yeah. and all that good stuff. Yeah, uh, we'd often like in elementary school, we'd often like imitate the characters' voices, like in Pokemon, for example. Right. Like yeah. I would always, for some reason, we would always do like Jesse and James and like- mm, Of course. Action. Not only like anime, but also like cartoons. So like mm -hmm. Powerpuff Girls, mm -hmm. there would be like a group of girls, we'd be the Powerpuff Girls, and then the group of boys would be like the Rowdy Rough Rowdy Rough Boys. Rowdy Rough Boys. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. oh. Hey. Hopefully nice. it's not those CW Powerpuff Girls, though. Oh, Lord. Cartoon Network Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about the leak or something? That there was like yes. some kind of yeah, live action. Oh I, I, haven't, I haven't read it, so. Well, yeah, they, they released the script, but I still think it's false. Cause yeah, it's I so don't think that that's real. There's no way that was It got real. copyrighted, though, on Twitter, so. Oh, so oh it probably was. God. Well, Ooh. I just know it's like <laughs> oh growing my up. Oh, God. Uh, you know, it, it's funny because, you know, being a boy, you know, when you were a kid, a boy. you weren't you weren't supposed <laughs> to watch stuff like Sailor Moon or the Powerpuff Girls, mm. you know, because that, that stuff was that? for girls. Who but, said that? Well, what? Hey, Nobody Trav. ever told me that. Yeah, I what know. is he? No. We weren't allowed to watch Powerpuff Girls? Yeah, no. Nobody but you ever. watched everything that came on. We weren't. If you were a boy, uh, it's just like, it? bro, I mean, Here you know go. how it was growing up being a nerd, man. It's just like, if you watch anime, it's just like, you watch anime, like, that's Yeah, they nerd. group all that stuff together. I don't, I don't get it. Thanks. I'm not. No, but I mean, that's just how it was. But like growing up, I love Sailor Moon. Like I used to do the transformations, like all that stuff, man. Same mm -hmm. thing with Powerpuff Girls. And it, it, it makes me mad because I grew up watching this and mm -hmm. now we're getting the live action show and it's just like, nobody asked for this live action show, you know? And uh, it's kind of weird actually, but it is weird. <laughs> it's, and it's, 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 it's like stuck. seeing the picture. Well, well, wait till you read the script. That I wonder if, so, I wonder if it's gonna I'm come scared. off like a Power Rangers <laughs> or a Beetleborgs kind of situation. That's all well, I can no, think about. Well, mm -hmm. well, yeah, yeah, they're. Adults, I get it, but I'm saying, and they're dealing with like past traumas or whatever. Yes. But oh, oh Lord. It, it was so bad that they they scrapped it and re they redo they're refilming the whole pilot. So they spent money to do the pilot. Said this is so bad, we're willing to spend more money. <laughs> this to is redo fun. The pilot. This Dude, is fun. Mm, I'm because, saying when you read the script that was released, there's just no way that's a real. I want to ask y'all, what villains script. do you do you think you're gonna get on that show? Well, they already said Mojo Jojo is gonna be Mojo alive. Jojo, and we got they gonna do Jojo, that because it's, it's a Jojo reference. Him, there him, it is. yeah, him. Okay, uh, I want to see Fuzzy Lumpkins. Uh, the Let's gang. Get, oh my God, yes! I want to see the Gang Green Gang. Gang, uh, gang, gang. Damn, Jesus, this is about to be bad. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, you, you know, know they're you know they're doing a cow and chicken live action. Shut up. No, oh, no, stop. stop. Look at yeah. Yeah. Look. Hey, I am Weasel is coming up next. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I want to wow. see. Uh, I want to see the Amoeba Boys. Um, I think I can handle a Johnny Bravo live action, but oh lord, hey, there, there was supposed to be one back in the day, and the Rock was. I believe to it too. Him. Mm, it was like yeah, like 2004. Like when Glad he, he didn't do that when he Thank first God. started. And <laughs> yeah, hey, well, look, bro. Instead of doing Johnny Bravo, he did the Tooth Fairy. You hey, know I saying? like the Tooth Fairy. I, Tooth Fairy is not. It's not as bad as Johnny Bravo would have been. No, we don't. Know no that. way. Mm. We don't know that. You hear this guy? We don't. Where know were that. we? But oh yeah, this yeah. is what we do. We Sh snowball shows. Shows watching growing up. That's where we were. I do have an actual question. When you're done oh, yeah. with this one, <laughs> hey, hey, I was just gonna ask. Hey, rewind it back. <laughs> when you're done away, rambling, dude. Powerpuff Girl villains. Do you <laughs> actually? <have laughs> <a question? laughs> it's like we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be conducting an interview here. Guys. We are. Hey, we are. I like talking out way. about things, so it's good. Now, Daisy. Um, yeah. Did you at any point growing up watch Ronin Warriors? Did you catch that show at all? I don't believe so. Hey, mm -hmm. is what is that? <laughs> I'm just uh it's it's a really, really old anime. It's um, pretty much Ronin Warriors was the the boy version of Sailor Moon. Like legit. Oh except, yeah, basically. Ex except that they had they cool were, armor. Like they were that. wearing armor and stuff like and that. And it was okay. sick. Yeah. It was absolutely <laughs> sick. They traded yeah. in the schoolgirl outfits for armor. Yes. yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, sailor outfits. And they sailor were they were like the best friends anybody could ever have. They like were. That. A lot of seasons or no? Uh, one season. Oh. Was, uh, that's a pretty good following though. It has one I season. Say it was like 30, 30. Is it five nine? OVAs, Banks? Is it's, it five of them or three? It's 39 episodes and three OVAs. So that's and pretty good for that's old. That's a good, yeah. Yeah. It's really old. What From What is 80s. Ronan Warriors 80s? 
Mm -hmm. uh 90 i think it was 1989 90s that's when it came out oh yeah okay okay still that's really really good good. for a show that old and the other thing too with the ovas is it's um the continuity is there it it is uh canon Mm -hmm. that's right Mm -hmm. that's fun but yes you let me down but continue the conversation (laughs) no but i wanted to i wanted to you know talk about video games because you've lent your voice to a lot of video games and when I was doing my research on you it's just like you grew up loving video games so Mm -hmm. to actually have your voice featured in some of these games like you were in uh, Marvel Avengers Academy and you voiced Spider-Girl like how was it like just being in video games growing up playing them and like now I'm actually in a video game that was a dream come true for me because I've always wanted to voice a Marvel character um, and I didn't think I would be able to voice Spider-Girl and the Anya Corazon, which ties into my cultural background. I That was a dream come true. Mm-hmm. Um, it it um, took me back to the days of playing like Ultimate Alliance, um, the Xbox, I remember that. Nothing but res- nothing but respect. Hey, <laughs> thanks. Hey, yeah, right. Black, you showing our age here. <laughs> it's fine, but I'm um, so young. Hey, yeah, what is this guy talking about? Like we're in That's our fifties. Hey, this he does <laughs> he that does. all the time. Hey, you know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my back hurt. I'm tired. I am. Yeah, I'm <laughs> my so tired. My, knee, my knees are gone. Like <laughs> I'm bad. <laughs> Yeah, but no, that that was a dream come true, and um, to also uh, voice in um, Earth Defense Force Iron Rain mm-hmm. was insane, yeah, and wild. that was that was like my first big console game mm-hmm. in which like I went into a studio and i didn't realize that the japanese developers were there as well oh wow mm-hmm. yeah and that and then i was so nervous yeah um, i don't feel like that's reason. typical. That's what no, I was wondering. I don't know. That was my first time that right. that's ever happened to me. Um, mm. uh, but yeah, and so I had to just completely focus on me and the director. And um, the director was um, someone who works at uh, NYAV Post. Mm-hmm. And um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, and it it was great. It was a, a dream come true. And that game is just crazy. The first person shooter. Well, mm-hmm. first person, third person shooter uh, uh, with bugs everywhere. Bugs yeah. and just. It's insane, um, and y'all should like totally play it if you haven't. It. It's crazy. <laughs> hey, well, look, you know, you're you're our guest of honor up here today, and you know, if you're recommending something to us, then we have to do it. You know, like, we've had, we've <laughs> had so we've had That's so many people two. up here, and it's like so many animes that we didn't even know about, and it's just mm. like uh, like when we had Lee George up here, and <gasps> <laughs> Lee George. <laughs> He's a oh, good yeah. actor. I love it. Yes. Appa Body. Yeah, he's, he's incredible. So good. He's so good. Yeah. yeah. Hey, incredible. He's a it's great awesome actor. That you know and he's an incredible person. Like we were, we were happy to have him up here. And oh, you know, some of the awesome. anime that he's been in. It's, yeah. It's, like I said, it's just like you know. Of course, we know about like a lot of the mainstream anime, but to, uh, you know, see some of these side animes and mm-hmm. check them out and be like, "Yo, this is really good." Yeah. 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 Yep. That's right. So yeah, definitely I'll add that game to the list. It's on PS4. Um, PS4, To anybody that's watching this on YouTube right now, uh, let us know in the comments, did you play the game? Uh, What did you think about it? Like, did you like it? Did you hear Daisy's (laughs) voice? And it's just like, oh my God, I can't believe that they got her on the podcast right now. That's right. Now, a game I want to talk about is, you know, of course that Duel Links. (gasps) Now, um, you you know, you played Ruby in the Zexel world part of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't think these guys have checked out Zexel. But mm-hmm. it's, I don't know if you've seen Zexel the anime. I have but, not. Um, oh my God, it's incredible. It's I'm someone, incredible. I'm sorry to cut you in, but I'm someone who comes from like the OG Yugi mm-hmm. seasons. Um, and so so working from uh, the Zexel world, they have like so many different kinds of like summonings that I have mm-hmm. no clue about. And I'm like, mm-hmm. wow, look how much Yu Gi Oh just evolved. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh yeah, it's wild. Yeah, just like a lot faster now. It's a lot faster now than it was back then too. Hmm? Yeah. yeah, yes it is. Games don't last thirty minutes no more. Yeah, <laughs> it's the same thing with Pokemon. Like, what? Well, isn't there like over a thousand now? 
Um, I don't know. No, it's like it's like nine hundred and eighty some or oh, something okay. like that. Oh, so it's getting close. Yeah, it's getting close. <laughs> pretty damn close. Yeah, yeah but, no, but you know, Digi Digimon, it's always been over a million Digimon though. Right. It's like Digimon. But um I don't I want is is Konami Cross Media based out of New York? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they are. So did you actually get to go in there with Darren Dunstan and Actually, this happened during the pandemic, during uh, the pandemic okay. now. So uh, I recorded in, in my closet, my four by three closet right. in New York City. It's really small, um, but it worked. Hey, um, that's right. And Darren Dunstan was on the phone with me and I was just recording the lines. By the way, Darren Dunstan. Ah! I know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like I did it because I, I, I've taken class. He teaches um, voice yep, acting. Yep. He teaches yep. animation. And um, I've I've taking classes with him for so many years that it didn't really dawn on me like how big he is and how like my 13 14 year old self would totally geek out about Darren Dunstan because he's the yeah. voice of Pegasus mm. and um uh it it didn't happen I didn't like fully start to geek out about it until after the game came out the Zexel part came out and a friend of mine was just like you were just directed by Pegasus and I, mm. I, I that's yeah, when it crazy. dawned on me I was like yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Now, gentlemen, yeah. I have to ask her, do you know a man by the name of Danny Kramer? Sounds familiar. Who is that? Go ahead, let her know, Trav. Hey, well, he's a voice actor. He voices Raihan on uh -huh. Pokemon Journeys. Okay. Um, In the new Zexal he's world. He's New York based, right? Yes, he is from yes, New York. Yes, I do and know him, yes. He took classes at with Darren Dunstan too. So I was like, hmm, I wonder if they've ever crossed I, I I know of him and, and we we kind of socialize on social media socialize, mm -hmm. nice. um, <laughs> but uh, mm -hmm. but I'd love to meet him and he um, should. yeah he is an incredible he's a, he's a really person. nice guy and when you do meet him make sure that you call him bag and sag and bag and sag and, bag and he and will know what you need he'll know exactly <laughs> okay. who you're talking as soon as okay. you cue, cue the montage and the flashback yeah. he'll but know. No, he's gonna be like he's gonna be like who told you that. <laughs> Who told you that? There's only so many people who know me by that name. Oh gosh. Yeah. No, <laughs> Danny is the imped the what's that word? Uh pediment? Embodiment. Well, that's another one too. But Embodiment. Danny's the impediment uh. of an actual kid nerd who grew up and got to do nerd stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like one thousand percent. I mean, this dude's got the full Pokemon collection, Yu Gi Oh <gasps> collection. You know what I yeah, mean? Like Yeah, and he, like He's one of the boys that yeah. got to grow up and do it, dude. And that's why we call him Bag and Sag and Danny because <laughs> he was the first guest that we've had up here where <laughs> like he he showed us his whole collection. It's like hey. he just kept on it's like he, just he there. was sitting at the screen, he just kept pulling stuff out. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, I was just like, bro, you're like bag and sag and Larry from all that, man. Uh, it's yep. like <laughs> and, and, and then we, we brought him on to do a review with us for uh Falcon and Winter Soldier. And Winter Soldier. Uh, and then he's just like, he's like, hey, got all this Captain this. America <laughs> memorabilia. Yeah, he, he brought, he brought the Captain America shield. Oh my like, God. What, what does this guy not have? That's what I'm saying, man. That's I think I still nice. have, because um, growing up, I used to collect Yu Gi Oh cards. Mm -hmm. And um, I specifically kept my Valentine's deck uh -huh. okay. uh, the Harpy and the yeah, Harpy I, Sisters. I still have uh -huh. that deck. Oh, you still have, I think I still have that it's deck, at, too. It's at his grandma's house. It's, uh, we already know. Hey. No, 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 no. It's downstairs in the basement because, uh, like, all of the, like, the Harpy's deck, because I remember that was the first time that I had found out about uh, Harpy's brother because yes. he right. wasn't in the show. And, right. Uh, wasn't. Yeah, so it's it was it was fun when you actually bought the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and then you was just like, well, I haven't seen this card in the show. But, yeah. yo, your, your boy... I want to say I had I have twelve blue eyes white dragons <gasps> and I remember I remember like when I would bring them to school like the guys they'd be like you can't use all twelve of those I'm like why not like I got them <laughs> it's like I didn't know that the rules like went like that you can only use three blue eyes white dragons yes yeah and you that's cannot, it. you can't have more than three copies man that's whack. it's like I actually <laughs> I actually have my deck deck right here I was, hey his deck deck not just his deck oh fire yeah i think nice. this is Yu-Gi-Oh. i think it is it's either Yu-Gi-Oh or magic yeah because what well, back in the day because what you had pull it out on them oh, yeah that's Yu-Gi-Oh. yep yeah it's I, a, I say, a warrior uh, deck 
what was it? It's like you had the Yugi deck, you had the Joey deck, yes. you had the Pegasus deck, mm-hmm. you had the Mind The tin can, the tin can, can containers, uh-huh. yes! Well no, well, no, 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 I didn't have the tin can. We had the, uh, it's like they were like the paper boxes. Well, that uh, was okay. That was just Yugi and Kaiba that came out with the paper box. Yeah. Oh, Joey yeah. had one too. But like, no, I mean originally. Before yeah, it started with Yugi first, and uh, before they well, launched the first booster sets. It yeah. was Yugi and Kaiba at first, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then S- they SDY they the... and SDK. Hey. Mm. Yeah, but those cards, those were fun. I mean, it was just fun growing <clears throat> up in those times where yeah, it's just like you had to like uh, I think it was Yu Gi Oh Forbidden Kingdom on the PS One. Yeah, where it's just like I think that was the name of it. It yeah. came with uh, it came with one of the uh, yeah, you got a promo. I can't, I can't remember what card it was, but I mean that, and then Shonen Jump uh mangas back in the day, oh. they used to they used to come with free cards. Like, uh oh, yeah. And, and I love it, that happens. And that reaction <laughs> well, right love, there. See, <laughs> he was like Shonen Shonen Jump. Like, yeah, I remember collecting those. No, nah, we reacting yeah. because this is what happens sometimes. You'll pause, and we all think you froze. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. your audio plays catch up, so you go. And then we got a bit of a Shonen Jump. Oh, <laughs> and, so yeah. and all of us are just like <laughs> yeah. nodding our heads. Like, yeah. 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 Y'all, Play yeah. along. Cause, Cause sometimes all of y'all will freeze and then I'm just sitting there just smiling. Yeah. And, then every, and then everybody just comes back and I'm just yeah. like, awesome. <laughs> That's In the speed thing. force. force. <laughs> That's right. <Yeah. laughs> the speed force. Oh, oh man, where oh, were man. we? No, but we were talking Yu-Gi-Oh. about. Oh yeah, yeah we were talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. but yeah, Craft, finish uh, your question about Zexels. Oh yeah. yeah, but no, um, just you know, being able to come in <laughs> these uh, mobile games that you know, uh, Duel Links is super successful, um, and they're just because they're constantly adding, you know, mm. different chapters to it and stuff. So it's just really cool to. Uh, you know, just be a part of that universe now. Do you watch the conferences that they have for like each world that comes out? They have like a huge um, conference. Oh, okay. No, I've never seen Yeah, one. and they have some actors the, from the Japanese um, voice actors to come in from like that specific. Because I remember watching the Zeke Soul conference mm-hmm. and they had some people in from the Japanese dub come in and like announce and ha- and do like a little duel. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's really, really cool. It's huge in Japan too. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just, I'm so honored to, to have a, a small part in that and who knows in the future, please. Exactly. I know. Yeah, who knows? Be a dream I mean, true. <laughs> now, one thing I wanted to ask you is because like you said, you grew up, you were into all of these animes and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And I know that, uh, like how you just said with Darren Dunstan, how it's just like, yo, I can't believe that I'm doing this. Like, have there been any other mark out moments that you've had since you've been in the world of voice acting? Yeah, uh, and actually fairly recent. Uh, Veronica Taylor, I mean, we, we, we've already talked about her, um, the voice of Ash Ketchum. Uh-huh. Um, so when I did Akudama Drive, uh-huh. um, she, she and, um, oh my God, his name is, um, is uh blanking out on me uh the the voice actor for yugi uh 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 what's his name i don't uh, remember i'm looking it up dan green dan green yeah, okay. yeah, there you yes go. um so when i did an episode of akadama drive as brother mm. there's one episode where it specializes in his backstory mm-hmm. and veronica taylor was in it and also dan green was in it wow. and i got to share a scene with dan green which was nuts because I didn't <laughs> find out until the day I recorded that episode. Brittany Lotta was just like very casual, like, oh yeah, Dan Green's your uh, scene partner. And I was, I was freaking out because mm-hmm. I grew up with, with you. We keep talking about Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's true. Uh-huh. Like oh. I grew up with that and to be able to share a scene with him um, is crazy. And to be able to do it during the pandemic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like with different uh equipments and like different locations it's just it, it was awesome it was awesome no i i know the feeling um i don't know if uh you're a wrestling fan or whatnot are you, you uh i know i know i know of the rock and that's it <laughs> oh wow yeah, you know, Stone Cold <laughs> Steve Austin. oh yes i do i do i do Hulk you know Hulk? degeneration x the what degeneration x no i don't you might oh, be yeah <laughs> sorry 
No, no yeah. Bronco Buster in here, Banks. Well, what no, yeah. <laughs> what we that. getting at, Banks? What we getting? No, at no. Here? I was just gonna say because when um I had teamed up with Billy Gunn. Oh yeah, that's right. You know, it was it was cool because it's like you know I grew up watching this guy on TV. Mm. Tell this story, Banks. You got to work I, with him. Oh, yeah. dude, how'd you not know this? Because he's Banks. The same reason I didn't oh, know he true. stopped watching anime for a few years. Oh yeah, that's right. right that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, Tell no, I got I got to team up with him and. You know, the kid in me is like, yo, like, am I really doing this? And it's like, I got to be professional and whatnot. Yeah. But, I mean, like, to, to be there, you know, saying suck it and all that other stuff. It's just like <laughs> back in the day, like, we used to get in trouble for that. In trouble. You know? Correct. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. With the yeah. quickness. So, no, it's a, no, I, I that's, understand that's pretty the awesome. feeling of, uh, thank you, D, um, of, you know, just meeting, you know, people that you grew up with. Now, have you had the opportunity to go to any cons and be a guest there? Yeah, um, when I was doing um, Ladies vs. Butlers and Judenchan, I had the opportunity to be in a couple of conventions um, talking nice. about the shows at the time. Yeah, and that was uh, that that was nerve wracking as an introvert. Uh, <laughs> that was a uh, uh, pretty nerve wracking, but that was so much fun. Um, and yeah, yeah, and no, in, in New York too. So that was like the icing on the cake for me. Nice. Was it uh was it New York Comic Con or was it uh some of the other cons that are there? No, it was a it was an independent uh convention. Um but yeah, I don't know. Really I mean, it, hey, it, it doesn't matter. A con is a con. Absolutely. Like, still, yeah. It's still con. awesome to, you know, be at something like that because yeah. it doesn't matter how big or how small it is. That's what she <laughs> said. Um, <laughs> yes. You, you know, it's just it's just the fact that you know, they reached out to you and was just like, hey, mm -hmm. we're a fan of yours. We want you to come to the con. And again, like I said earlier, where it's mm. just like, you never know who you're inspiring. Like somebody could hear your story at that con and it's a like, okay, I want to be a voice actress now or a voice actor. So right. I, I always think it's cool to do that and to, you know, ask questions and uh, answer those questions for people and stuff like that. Uh, do you have any con stories that uh, you would like to share with us? Uh, sent, with going to cons and whatnot? Uh, I don't uh, because I feel like I'm a fair newbie with conventions, but mm -hmm. I will just to add on what you're saying. Um, I do love the fact that like, you know, I've met some of my closest voice actors slash friends at those conventions that I uh, was, was a guest in because it's a great opportunity to meet not only your castmates, but like, but people who have a connection with those castmates who mm -hmm. like you get to just hang out with and and i've made some of my closest friends through that and um yeah yeah and that is, it's just a great opportunity to do that you know absolutely yeah no, yeah no for sure um now something i wanted to ask you next is when you're not voice acting like what are some of your hobbies and interests that you're into Mm, if you can't see in the background there, <laughs> my plants. I see them. I see them. <laughs> I like plants and and gardening and uh, because you know, city girl, born and raised for thirty years. Thank you, Lord. Um, nice. <laughs> thank you. Uh, uh, you know, you're just not that surrounded by nature a lot. And I don't know. There's just something about there's something calming about watering plants and stuff like that. Oh but yeah, they give off energy. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean? and, and just Positive to see vibes. them, and just to see them like grow from like a little thing to like right. something huge, just yeah. it's rewarding, I think. Um, but lately, I've been playing a lot of video games, and the one video game that I'm just obsessed with right now is Final Fantasy XIV mm. online. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I I love I I just love it. Yeah, I love I, MMOs. I just think there's so much fun. And I tried, uh, and it was just. I realized that I do not have the time to invest. <laughs> you do have to put a lot of time into it. Into really and organization. Yeah. And, so right. Like, yeah. I can't. Yeah. I can't, guys. I mean, yeah. I know that it's not, uh, you know, as extensive as Final Fantasy, but when Grand Theft Auto Online came out, mm. like that was something you had to put a lot of time into level up. People still characters. have that as like their main game, though. Yeah. I mean, because when uh, Grand Theft Auto Five came out, what, 2013? I was about to say oh, nine wow. years. Yeah, nine years ago, and they're still they're selling it. it. Yeah, they're still pushing it. But no, man, I, but for real, like Grand Theft Auto Online, it used to be dope back in the day, especially when uh, when we found out how to get unlimited money and everything. And Rockstar, they swooped <laughs> in and they took all our money away. Said no, like, it it, uh, it just rightfully sucked. so. 
Rightfully so. No, they shouldn't have. I mean, like, yeah, I was absolutely. able to... Bro, my... They should have just let us cheat yo, and get away with it. Yo, my, my garage was full with Bugattis. Like, those not things, no more. Like, those things were worth, like, nine <laughs> nine billion dollars. And it's just like... And I, they have the shark cards. And it's like, you pay real the world shark? money. Shark. Shark? Shark? Shark. Are you saying shark? Sir. No, shark. Shark? Are you saying Shark. shark? Shark. 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 Like shark. Like shark. Oh, you mean like Shark Boy? Give me a shell, yeah. Like Jabber Jaw. <laughs> oh Jesus. Uh, <laughs> oh, like, oh, we like talk about uh King Shark. Sh street Street Sharks. Street Shark. Got it. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. okay, like the yeah. Meg. Okay, the Shark Card. I got. But it. no, but yeah, it's like you pay real world money to get in game get money. Fake money. Yeah, but it's it's crazy because uh, it's like I, I think like a billion dollars is a hundred dollars real world money, but if if the car is a billion dollars, like you really spend a hundred dollars just to get this car that I'm gonna blow up when you're driving at me, you know what I'm saying? Like mm, I don't know, but I, I mean, I wanted to you know <laughs> keep it on f the Final Fantasy topic. Like, are you a huge Final Fantasy fan? Um, I'm not huge, but I do love like the Final Fantasy VII, the remake. Um, right. I'm more of a, a watcher of video games because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm an adult. I don't have a lot of time playing video games as much as I want to. Yeah. Now it's different, but it's on a schedule by schedule basis. But um, so I like to watch a lot of, of, of playthroughs and stuff like that. But Final Fantasy VII, the remake is beautiful. Yes. It, it beautiful. is beautiful. I Even love it. Yeah. I yeah. can't wait until the second one comes out. I'm, I'm almost jealous of the people who do play it because I want to play it, but I can't. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, I love the performances. The, the environmental art design is yep. just stunning. The music, the music yep. is yep. so stunning. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it's, yeah. it's a it's a gorgeous game it's yeah. a shame well no i think it came out the year before last of us part two but um uh, or was it the same year no it, it came out uh, it the came same out year, i think no no la <laughs> the last of us no yeah it was the same year. La last yeah. of us two yeah. because came they were out both nominated for like the game awards at the yeah. same time uh, so and to me unfortunately final fantasy came out when last of us two came out because to me last of us part two is the greatest looking video game that's ever been Beautiful. created i loved ever. it the I farm it. the farm yeah. and and and, a, and the sunset yeah. it's incredible yeah. the first mm -hmm. one was incredible when it came out like, yeah absolutely yeah for sure so, I mean, but i mean like even like when you start the last of us and like you just see like the, the scenery and, and everything yeah, scenery absolutely. with all Incredible. the snow and yes. everything yes right. sir yeah. it's 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 crazy you know how far video games have come where yeah it's like well, you don't get games like that too often though. you know exactly they, the yeah. other one that reminds me since we're on the, the brief topic is uh the newer tomb raider games yeah. those are pretty pretty mm -hmm. well done visually yeah, so i need to watch those yeah, yeah so did yeah. um what's the what's the movie with tom holland that's coming out with uh, the Uncharted, Unchar Uncharted, Uncharted Four, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uncharted Four, yeah, that's I, another you were good like, one. Woo, this game yes, looks sir. incredible. Mm -hmm. Yep, right, yeah. No, so, yeah, you get those gems every games. now and then. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And um, have you ever seen like the behind the scenes for The Last of Us, like the motion, the, the motion cap? Yeah, the mocap <gasps> stuff. No, yeah, it's crazy. I've seen the mocaps. They, it's pretty it's... much like they're filming a movie. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. 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 I, I want to be like a, a fly on the wall and just watch them. Like That's incredible. Do they did that with um, Death Resident Stranding. Evil. Well, they kind of were Resident Evil 2. That game's real short, so it isn't this long thing. But Death Stranding, they did that too. Like all mocap. Right. And it was just, the game itself was a little boring because there was too much walking. Mm. And <laughs> it, it was kind right. of a letdown, you know, because it was just kind of boring and it's sense. probably massive right it was like just the, so massive and you gotta yeah. walk everywhere walk back and do all this stuff yeah but um and visually death strand looked incredible I and bet. that's how they did it they no. filmed all that mocap stuff dude and it was i want to do i want to do motion capture in the future um when everything opens back up uh yeah so so watching like those behind the scenes stuff um especially like for resident evil the newest one that came out village yeah. uh yeah. oh my mm -hmm. god i was and totally dorking out absolutely <laughs> it, it looks incredible that. and they're doing that oh. with um we had nick apostolitis on the pod before, oh okay and um 
they did that for he's in the new Resident Evil movie that's coming right. out, but they did it all in mocap. Resident, so even though yeah. it's is that a series no. or is that a movie? No, it's, yeah, the, it's the movie. movie. They well, did it on mocap. Well, he's a, he's yeah, a so, mocap performer, but he's a mocap performer right so he did. before this. But yeah, yeah. I didn't know they, that the yeah. whole movie is shot in mocap and then digitally animated oh. from there. So this thing so is going to cool. look incredible. Yep. Yeah, and just to let everybody know this, listening and watching right now. Like Trav said, we had him on the pod. Make sure you go and check out his episode. He was a really nice guy. And really nice guy and he, incredible artist. Yes. The man can draw his ass off. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And, and he, he takes does, commission. He so if you're interested, slide in his Twitter and, <laughs> or order yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and nice. he's, uh, he's a person that tries to make the world a better place. And uh, mm. that's, that's what we need here in the world. Like people that want to make Absolutely. the world a better place for everyone. Um, now, a question I wanted to ask you because, like, you're in the plants and whatnot. Like, what are some places in New York that you like to visit when you want to get in touch with nature? Mm, Central Park, Central Park, number one. Um, yeah, it's 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 in the middle of of New York, well, yeah. in the middle of Manhattan. Yeah. Um, but it's there's some spots in Central Park where uh, you you don't feel like you're in the city. And it yeah. just feels magical. But there's also other spots where, like, there's a huge um, fountain in which, like, people gather around and, like, have salsa classes or, like, right. have, nice. yeah, That's sweet. That's That's pretty yeah cool. or, like, someone's, like, off in a corner playing some jazz with, like, his bandmates or someone's singing opera somewhere else. Wow. Like, it's just nice. a gathering of, so like, So is it kind of sacred? Is it, like, one of those, pe those places that are, like, if you're going to do stuff, don't do it here kind of thing? Like... Uh, I mean, or more importantly, do it here, maybe. Yeah, I mean, as long yeah. I, I mean, as long as you don't, you know. That's what I mean, like water. sacred, like yeah, yeah, like, yeah. People don't really go there to mess around too much, right? Uh, no, not really, uh, yeah, because good. it's 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 very well looked after. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, but yeah, I feel like I don't know if you need like any permits or anything to like perform mm -hmm. there or not. But I don't know. It seems like to me anyone can just, you know, grab. Yeah, some I love stripper performers. Yeah, same. Um, I think sometimes, sometimes when you see a performer, you're just like only in New York City, or it's just like I love New York City because it, you can just experience anything there. I've always like, wanted to visit Central Park since I saw a troll in Central Park. And I'm always like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Central Park. <laughs> and it's crazy because when you hear people from New York talk about New York, it sounds like New York's its own country. Almost yeah. like you got, you know, Brooklyn and the Bronx, Manhattan and you got Chinatown. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Absolutely. All this uh -huh. other place. There's Koreatown. There's oh. Queens. There's even like yeah, different Queens. <laughs> you got Staten Island. Absolutely. Nice Long, Where? Brooklyn. Long Island. Uh -huh. Where is Uptown? Bad style. Uptown is um, anywhere above Central Park. See, this is what I'm saying. It's like yep. there's its own lingo. It's yeah, its own exactly. map. It's its yeah. own thing. I just yeah. want to go to Staten Island to meet the Wu-Tang. Hey, I, I want to. <laughs> hey. That would be sweet. <laughs> that would be sweet. And the Impractical Jokers are also from Staten Island. Oh, yeah. You're oh. right. Hey, those guys are hilarious. The best. We ain't going to go to. The, <laughs> the best. Best the of the best. best. Now, since yeah. you're from New York, uh, you know, this is a question I got for you. Yeah. Would you say that this New guy. York has the best pizza? Absolutely. There's something in the water there where something in the, in the water. water. Yeah. Uh, -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh it's just the the there's just like a right amount of dough and cheese mm -hmm. and the crust is eatable, like you mm -hmm. don't want to stop eating. It's just it's good. So it's better than Chicago pizza. Come hey. on. Hey, relax. Relax. Yeah, relax. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. <laughs> I'm just apples and oranges. Started apples stuff. and oranges. <laughs> I'm just at, I mean, because I, I know that, that I don't like thicker crusts. Uh, Chicago. I like the deep dish. dish. It's not. Eh, I was going to say, you don't like deep dish? <laughs> Detroit. Um, the Detroit pizza is good. Yeah. Detroit. I went, Detroit. Hey, I went, yeah. I, I went to Cleveland and I had Ohio pizza, which I didn't even know was a thing. Mm. I did not eat What do they do with theirs, Trav? Do you remember it? Yeah, it's not as thick as like a deep dish, but hey. it's definitely thicker than the New York style. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. It's like I'm trying to figure out like, do I want to say it. that's what she said or, or no? Of course you do. <laughs> Look, Eddie, you always want to say that's what she said. What do you mean? There's nothing hey. to wrestle with up there. You say yeah, it. I, I thought he was going to jump in there like three lines ago. <laughs> hey, I, I, I wasn't sure because he was 
it's, it's like I heard thick, but then like deep dish, and I'm hey. just like, hey. hey, hey. Sometimes, man, you gotta go to Chicago and get you a glizzy. What man. is that? Y'all yeah, don't know what, what a glizzy is? is? No. Come on, Triaf. Look at a, this guy. A, a glizzy is a kind she of. She doesn't hot know dog what it is. I don't know what it is. Chicago. It's a what? Say that again. It's a hot dog that's made famous in Chicago. Okay. Oh, is it is it the hot dog that Bernie Mac was talking about on the Bernie Mac show? I don't know. Oh, man. Because it was an episode where he took the kids to Chicago and he said that Chicago has this famous hot dog. Yeah, and, it's the glizzy. And then, and then Jordan, he took a bite out of it. He's like, Uncle Bernie, this is nasty. But, <laughs> but, but here's the thing. The saying is, you know, you got to swallow a glizzy. <laughs> I'm not swallowing anything. <laughs> I'm saying. just like, you know that right now. But I, I, I agree with Daisy. You're talking to a man whose first job was at Sabaros. And oh. um, I worked at Sabaros mm -hmm. for almost six years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they came from New York. And uh, New York pizza is just the, it's the only way to have pizza. New York cheese pizza. That's it, bro. Well, Absolutely. See, my thing is, is like, and they're cheap too. They're like a even the dollar pizzas are oh, just they are, and they're huge. Tomorrow the won't sell in the yes. dollar pizzas. Let's, now let's, see, let's, now this is <laughs> right. Thing, uh, I don't know if y'all have Sal's pizza up there. Do y'all? No. Okay, so I don't think so. So here in Virginia, we have Sal's pizza, okay. and it's it's like there's Sal's pizzas everywhere, and like their their specialty is you know Sal's New York pizza. So the first time I go to New York, I go to this uh, pizza restaurant. Uh oh! And, oh, no. and it tasted it tasted just like Sal's Pizza. Now everybody here in Virginia, it's like we've all had Sal's Pizza, and it's one of those things where it's just like it's all right. You it's know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. But it's just like I feel like when I went to that place in New York, uh, you know, I I had the same thing that I had at home. But I'm pretty sure that there are other places in New York where it's like their pizza. Yeah, it's like the pizza that you saw in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie where the guy oh, yeah. was picking mm. it up and like it was it was oh, yeah. you know. You never yeah. seen the dude from Barstool? Uh-uh. You don't know what Barstool is? Nah. It's like an online media group. They do a bunch of podcasts and stuff, but that mm. guy goes around. He's from Boston, but he goes around to New York and just goes to pizza shops. They give him a slice of pizza and he tells everybody whether Hey, it's this good pizza's good to go, or hey, don't visit this pizza place. Mm -hmm. But he's very, very. So he's like a food critic. Yeah, he's a food critic, but yeah. just yeah. strictly for pizza. Dope, so yeah. pizza shops want him to come into a shop because oh. they could get a lot of exposure. Yeah, oh, no, at, on a national that. level. Yeah, versus <laughs> just being famous in New York. Dope. And uh, that's always a cool thing. And some of the pizzas he be holding up. I mean, they be oozing cheese, and I'm like, <laughs> never have enough cheese on a pizza. Oh, for sure, man. For sure, it's, it's crazy how mm. you can uh, mm. you can get whatever you mm. want on a pizza. <laughs> like, they're, like uh, one of the things I love is uh, on the Food Network right. where they show the pizza shows, and like they show all of these different pizzas from around the world, mm. and you know what you can get up there. So, Daisy, I want to ask you: uh, You're making a single pizza, New York. Like, what are your toppings that you're getting up there? Ooh, meat lovers. So nice. good answer. I love it. I love sausage, it. Sausage, pepperoni. Uh, what else is in it? Ham? Ham's in yep. it. Too. Ham, yeah. bacon. Ham, bacon. Which, why do sausage. we need ham and bacon? Because but... they taste different. They, they do, do yeah. taste different. Yeah. <laughs> Two different parts of the pig, too. Uh -huh. but hey, not a, not in Canada. Take take it easy. Not in Canada. <laughs> I'll ask Stevie about that. Bacon is ham in Canada. Look, we're going to talk. Oh. Yeah, look, man. Hey, yeah, just relax. I, right? I mean, I'm just thinking fast. <laughs> it is. Right? You're talking you about like Canadian bacon? you never heard of Canadian bacon? It's just yeah. I it's make like, uh... It's like a ham triangle. Correct. No, 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 no. I mean, but I know like you it's... can get Canadian bacon on pizza here too. I yeah, mean. for sure. Right. Yeah, Canadian bacon, bacon. We're not, good thing we're not in Canada. So here in... Yeah, look. Look. Oh, I'm not oh, trying to have people <laughs> coming at <Hey. laughs> <laughs> I'm not hey, trying to have Canadian Canadian kids Steve, gonna come get you. You better be careful. I didn't say anything bad about Canadian bacon. <laughs> Here we go. Just, uh, just, let's, it's just, just, just it banks egg and stuff on. Like I'm not doing did. anything. That's why, why you were. That's why you didn't care when D died. That's yeah, why you didn't. Thank care. You, you, I went Super Saiyan. <laughs> Look, you went Super, super Saiyan. Saiyan He's more ass. worried tonight about yeah. his smile. Off. Nah, I think we threw them all. What happened was. You know, he flamed up like Endeavor. That's what oh, he means when he said, He said, Get up. Like Endeavor. You got, you got exactly teleported back to Earth, so you don't even know what happened to me. Exactly. Between me and Frieza. Because, like, you know, hey, I went Super Saiyan. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's good that I'm still here because it's like, 
if I wasn't here, I wasn't, I wouldn't have been able to come back to Earth to uh, meet Trump and uh, you know <laughs> help my son defeat Sale. You know what I'm saying? So. You, know, you, you hear that, D? Thank God for Banks that you're still alive. <laughs> say thank, say thank you to Banks right now. That's no, I'm gonna run right into the speed <laughs> force when we're done here, and I'm what gonna all of that. Happening. <laughs> hey, dude, this is uh, a snowball. Welcome yeah, to is, our kid. This is what happens. <laughs> but, uh, but no, but, but I wanted to hey, ask you. Oh, hold want, on, hold on. Let me talk about my pizza. Mm. No, nah, hey, oh, okay. we don't care about you. Oh yeah, we only nah, want to know hey, what Daisy, nah, Daisy. Daisy wants to hear about yeah. my pizza. Yeah. Okay, go she's ahead. Go ahead. She's a New Yorker. Right. Why would right. she want to know? Go ahead I and hear just about say your pizza. pizza Look, what, exactly. <laughs> just cheese. I, I'm not talking about like from here when you order from Pizza. Hut. I'm talking about when I get New York authentic pizza. Just mm. cheese. Just cheese. Like, I want to pick it up. I want to fold original. it, but it still hangs. Mm. You fold it. The, the front half of it still hangs. Okay, Mike. You, you want to take, okay. a, you take a bite out I of it? I left it open for you, bro. <laughs> the front half still hangs. That's what she said, bro. I left it open for you. Who are you and leaving you it open for? Not for you. No. Look, Trav, he's... I didn't Anyways... Think New York cheese pizza is the greatest pizza of all time, and it doesn't get better. And this is, hey, I'm sorry to my family, you know, that, that stays in Massachusetts. <laughs> but you know what? New York's got the pizza. I don't know, mm. man. I think Florida mm. got the best pizza. Yeah, okay. Well, Florida, yeah, man. You know, Florida, Maine. I don't Florida. know about that. <laughs> yeah, me either. You're not alone, Daisy. So no, I but I'm offending Daisy right there. I know. I'm like, right. look. What? Never she, tell she, she another said. New Yorker that, because then they'll they'll give you straight. Yeah, they might. Like, come hey, Daisy, I'm surprised that you didn't say, hey, I'll see you guys later. It was nice meeting you. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, follow, subscribe. Like, follow, subscribe. Hey, that's what Endeavor does. Though. That's what Endeavor know, does. Um, but Daisy, I want it because when Trav had mentioned Boston, you're going to be on this new animated series called Wild Card, and mm -hmm. that takes place in an alternate reality of Boston. Like, is there anything that you can tell us about this show with uh, mm -hmm. out getting in trouble? Uh, it's it's like a mystery, a mystery whodunit mm -hmm. uh, with, with a splash of noir in it. And that's all I can really say, because I did sign an NDA for that. Nice. Um, but they are on social media. They're even on TikTok, and um, they 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 love to promote themselves and the kinds of like animation stuff that they do. And it's like really, really, really cool. So check it out. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I definitely love the Who Done It. Nice. The, the mystery stuff. Like I just yeah. went to a, a mystery dinner not Ooh. too long ago, and it was awesome. It's like yeah, it you, looked you, cool. You, That's you, so cool. Yeah. You play, you play the characters and everything. Yeah. And, you know, you have actors like in the dinner, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, well, that's no, so well, cool. well, how it is, it's like it's it's just it's just normal people. I mean, yeah. like, of course, like there may be some actors there, but it's kind of like a clue setting. Yeah, right, exactly. Right. But it's like y'all already know how I am. Like, I'm gonna be extra as hell. Like I was the uh, <laughs> we know I, I was the um, the store clerk at the at the mm. we, in the western town. And you know, I was using all my catchphrases and whatnot to hold on Rondell, piggyback, snowball. <laughs> and, Our catchphrases. Yeah, no, yeah. Hey, look, I was putting this over, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I do. <laughs> like, if I if I could compare myself to anybody, it was Big Smoke in uh, the Wild Wild West. Cause I had oh, on the hat. Oh, right. He did have on the hat. Yes, he did. Did you solve it or no? Hmm? Did you solve the mystery for the uh, no. Oh it, well, that's okay. It, it, Disappointment. It, it, no. It, it, well, no this, is, this is the thing. I'm gonna tell everybody. The teacher was the killer, right? And I suspected that the teacher was the killer, but they did. had gave us one last clue at the end of it where um what is the girls that that worked at the that worked at the uh, the saloons? What were those girls called? You don't want me to call them by their name. Waitresses? No, no, the ones that you had sex with at the salon. I think that I think they legitimately just called them whores. Oh, and, okay. In those, like, if you watch, <laughs> if you, no, if you watch a movie from then, like an old western, they, I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just what they straight up called them. Okay, so I'm sure that's not what they called them in the game you were playing. Oh no, they didn't call them play. that. In the yeah, game, but, but it's like so. The one chick, she was revealed to be the guy who who had been murdered. She was his estranged daughter. And mm -hmm. when she revealed that she was his daughter, he was like, I don't want anything to do with you, you know, yada, yada, this and that. So I was just like, okay, it's either her or the teacher. And I was just like, you know, she has more of a motive of killing him because 
it's like you know he didn't want anything to do with her but the teacher like he wasn't giving her money so that way that she could make the school uh better for the children and right. i went with the daughter instead of the teacher and it uh, was the teacher so I did anybody went... pick the teacher uh there was three people who chose the teacher but mm -hmm. only one person won because you had to choose uh, motive and yeah like, yeah like what what did they what did they use to kill the, oh, kill them uh, with yeah. yeah yeah and then somebody said a shovel and they won so uh, yeah that's so, what, I mean, what it do you was win cool. what do you win it was like a 25 dollars gift card to mission barbecue oh nice yeah, yeah so it was awesome um they're doing another one in october so if you live here in the 757 and you want to go to it it's called uh you know who who's done it so yeah who's done okay. it and that's yeah. cool man because it's kind of like you know how they have the <clears throat> what are those mystery rooms called where you go in and you got to solve puzzles with a group of people uh escape room escape, room. escape yeah. rooms mm -hmm. i love that these those places are fun are, yeah and these places are becoming like a thing and i'm like you know you ever been there like on a saturday night and it, like with some friends and you're like what can we do and mm -hmm. it's like Sometimes, man, there's just really nothing to do as adults. Yeah, so it's right. cool that we're getting these fun activities that we like. We can't go play laser tag for real. I was gonna say, like, let's go play laser tag. Yeah, but they don't have them. Not even in New York. They used to have like a huge uh, well, arcade. Yeah, we just got tag. one. We just oh got really? One. Oh yeah, we do. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, Rondale. No, we have a laser tag place. Yeah, We've been but here for that a one's long time. Uh, yeah, out in Lynn Haven. Out Lynn Haven. Yeah, I. I it's it's What's kind of a lame laser tag. Place. No, <laughs> see now, Trav says this. I hadn't played laser tag since I was a kid, and I want to say we went there for my 29th birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. And it was just it was just a bunch of adults just running around shooting kids. Uh, like my brother, like he was just hiding in the hallway the entire time, waiting for people. Like, he was camping. <laughs> he was literally camping in the hallway, and it was fun because uh, you could go upstairs, and then like all the little kids, they just kept running underneath us, and we just kept shooting them, and it was fun. <laughs> like, but Prav, I agree. You know, the older we get, um, there really isn't a lot of stuff like that we can really do as adults unless you actually go out there and find it, bro. Right. DB so still, I'd be thinking he'd be frozen sometimes. He has an incredible skill of just sitting there and doing nothing and not. Hey, I'm like, I'm like your boy Drax, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it blows my mind, man. Nah, like, nah, I, I was gonna say, I uh, can't D's, sit still, bro. I'm moving all around. And... Nah, D's like uh, your boy Doctor Strange. He's sitting there looking at all the different timelines and the possibilities, oh, yeah. and he's just sitting there mm -hmm. still. Hey, one, hey, yeah. hey, one, Michael. Hit him with it. There's only one finger. reality where we stop Michael. Uh huh. I mm -hmm. had to plug it, man. You know how no, we do. No, you're cool, Michael. You're cool. But uh, but hey, Daisy, thank you so much for joining us, uh, guys. I don't know. Do y'all have any? You final already questions? know. Hey, I'm gonna let okay. D. I'm gonna let D take it away. Oh, okay. all right. I got two. That's hit right. That, two. Hey, hit that door, D. Yeah, <laughs> hit the door. <laughs> nah. <laughs> hey, that was funny though. Yeah. But hey. So, question number one: Do you have a favorite movie from the '80s or '90s? A go-to. Go-to favorite movies from the The Goonies. Yes, I love The Goonies. Absolutely. Oh look, yeah, I'm gonna stop right there because apparently Banks is in. He's smiling. He was on. I've seen that movie. I love it, bro. That song. Yo, he's on the hook on that one. Goonies. Was the first movie that I ever recorded on my mom's VCR when I was a kid. Oh, Look, and he's off the hook, Trav. He's I had, he feels I had good never now. seen it before. I had never seen it. It's a good it's classic. It, it's, it, yeah. came, it came on after. Uh, remember when they had Saturday morning cartoons on USA? Yes. Yeah, like, Mortal no. Kombat and stuff, and the Goonies came. Oh on. yeah, yeah. Mortal Kombat cartoon. Yeah, <laughs> what is, I was just. What like, are Yo, Saturday this, morning cartoons? This I was just like, this movie is awesome. He's trolling. And I recorded it, <laughs> and it's, it's somewhere in the ether now. But I, did you, <laughs> but Daisy, did you know that there was supposed to be a Goonies too? Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. there, there was. And uh, what happened? What's your What's your boy's name? Uh, Ishmael Corey Feldman. Oh, uh, yeah, Corey, Corey Feldman. Yeah, Corey uh, Feldman. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, he said that there was supposed to be a sequel. But uh, I mean, you know, Corey Feldman, he says a lot of he stuff. He says a lot I mean, of stuff. So. Yeah, we, I mean, because we, we <laughs> changed the sequel to uh, uh, The Lost Boys. Lost Boys 2, Lost Boys 3. Yes. And, uh, you know, Which, I, I haven't seen, seen The Lost Boys. 
I, I've seen the Lost Boys, but I haven't seen two and three. And I I've haven't seen two and three either. Oh, well, you're, you're not missing much. Yeah, 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 yeah I've been wrecking. Yeah, I figured. I figured. Especially that yeah. third one. That, that thing was okay. It's like <laughs> it's like the Sandlot too. It's like you don't need to watch. Yeah, come yeah. on, yeah. Or Christmas Story too. You don't need to watch yeah. that. Either. It's just certain <laughs> sequels don't need to have. Yeah, it's like whose idea was it to yeah, make this somebody, movie? Somebody hey, thirsty. The, the, yeah, exactly. Thirsty. <laughs> it's just like it's just like if they came out with a sequel to. When Casper meets Wendy, it's just like, who, oh who my asked God. for this? Hold on, first off, I love Casper meets Wendy. Would you be down for a second one? Cool. No, 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 but the the sequel is Casper meets. Why, why, why yeah. do they make a sequel, That's a true. continuation of the sequel? It makes no sense. Hey, bro, they do it all the time. Huh. Yeah, okay. it would have been it would have been uh when Wendy meets Casper this time. And Stop Casper, that. like when flash there too. When, <laughs> Wendy, she's a well now, now I'm fine with sequels like Hook. Where it's just like, you know, Peter is an adult now. Uh, and he has a family. Uh -huh. Like, I'm cool with those type of sequels, but not the sequel. What about The Lion King 2? Hey, Deception. D two or Disgrace. one? Disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, like Lion King 2. What you talking Are about? Are you fine with, do you like that one? That's Simba's What are we talking about? I'm Hold saying, on. what do the Lion King 2 Deception dis Disgrace where this, the Z. No, I'm right? saying, how do you, okay, I get that. <laughs> how do you feel about the sequel? Oh, where are you I going? Was, I thought it was He's sweet. like, where you go? What do you mean? Right? I'm like, well, uh, okay. I thought it was yeah, well, yeah, man, it's, it's, well, well, our okay. friend, yeah, our friend okay. Tom White, How about he's this? never no. seen it. I, I like that answer because from now on, when you ask me about something, I'm just gonna sing a song from that movie, and you're supposed to know what I mean. Bro, that's I'm like so hard. That's but that's not an Jason. answer. Yeah, hey, just, all hey, right, Miss hey, Davis. Hey, look, we had uh, our friend guy. Tom White, he's never seen uh The Lion King 2. He, he don't even know what the song is from. What? Wow. Yeah. That's what happens. It happens. That's what happens. That's what happens. But just yeah, like Banks, you can't watch everything, I guess, that's or right. anything. <laughs> I mean, hey, look, as long as Ooh. I got JoJo, that's all. Well, I was going to say, when oh, JoJo. <laughs> but part four is back on Netflix. How can he watch it? Hey, well, hold on, Rondell. Yeah. It's, not, it's not back. This is the first time that it's been put on Netflix. And Try, we I'm, wouldn't know that. I'm, <laughs> enjoy, I'm enjoying it. Like, it, and it's. It's it's because like when we have Rachel Glass uh, up here, when she was saying that it's <laughs> it's fun reading books that you've already read before because it's like you already know what's gonna happen and sometimes mm -hmm. it feels like uh it's it's something <laughs> new. But with JoJo, it's like every time I watch it, it feels new. Like saying the catchphrases, like D, don't sit there and act like you sleep. <laughs> oh, what's up? <laughs> It's just I mean, like, hey, don't, yeah. hey, look, JoJo's hey, better I'm than one I'm feeling pretty D. bored myself. Yeah, I mean, I just want to get to my second question. And somehow we wound up on JoJo. Well, I mean, you can't, well, you can't ask the second question because uh, because I already answered it for you. No, you didn't. Yeah. Oh, what's her favorite? Yeah, he did. What's her favorite horror movie growing up? Yeah, probably JoJo. <laughs> oh. It is scary. No. I'm scared to watch it, so. What? Oh, good answer. With that being said. Banks, go ahead and take us out of here. No, 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 no. But for real, what is what is your uh, favorite horror movie? Oh, now he wants you to ask the question. Yeah, yeah now ahead. he wants. To. Yo, you're not he his puppet. puppet. You're not his puppet. I you know. don't work on D commands. Is, with him. D is my stand. Oh, rebellion. Rebellion. You go. <laughs> see, and Daisy, hey, you hey, see, this real. is what this is how hey, he treats oh, his fellow guys. Hey, coach. for real though. Hey, hey for real, rebellious D sounds like a badass stand name. He's trying to, he's trying to now he's trying to butter you up. Exactly. Yeah, let's, well, I mean, I'd rather have, a, I'd rather have a rebellious D stand than Trav. Like if what, I'm the fight, collector? If, 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 if I'm fighting somebody, I'm just like go Trav. Like all right, we can't all be Endeavor. I'm that, sorry, that we can't all be Endeavor. Into my my enemies, but D, go ahead and ask your question. We can okay. Now, Daisy, growing up, was there anything? Whether it was a TV show or a movie that scared you generally or genuinely, excuse me. Mm. Anything that spooked you. Could be anything. It doesn't have to be gory or anything. I'm not one to get scared so easily. So this like is that. kind of a card question for me. Good. I, I will say something recent that I really liked, which is horror. Um Okay. The The Haunting of Hill House. Okay. Netflix. The, the well second regarded. season or the first no, the, one? the first one. The first, the first one one's incredible. Well regarded. It's so, so good. I, there's a That's couple good. of jump scares that got to me, yeah, actually. Yeah, for sure. Nice. Um, I'm going to check it out. Yeah, it's just incredible storytelling and dialogue. Oh, they we have know. some great monologues in there, too. So, yeah. Yep. Nice. Remember, great pick. Yeah. Something, something recent. I yeah. like that. Nice switch up. Have you checked out Army of the Dead yet? I have not. No. That's good. 
It's re- if you love zombie movies, you'll I do. It. Have you'll you seen enjoy. Train to Busan? Yes, Ooh. I know. What See, that is. Now that's the crazy thing, right? Mm. It's like that was an amazing movie, but I heard that the sequel wasn't that good. I heard that too. Yeah, you got to be like, careful. You have to be careful, especially with zombie, like you know, sequels. Mm. It's just tough. Like, look at look at what they did with Night of the Living Dead. Right. No, that I is guess. just. Mm. Well, what are you doing? Well, with Train to <laughs> like, Busan, it's mm-hmm. like. It, it was good because it's like everything took place on the train where right, that's the, where i was going to say you got to be careful with when something takes place in a specific area yeah right? where, and then you well, try to sequel off that yeah well the sequel it was uh it was kind of like zombies were fast and furious and right, it's just yeah. like who mm. <laughs> like it's just like we already see all the crazy stuff in fast and furious i don't need you to add zombies i like, feel like sometimes you just need to leave things like alone Exactly. To its yeah, own yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. That's what I yeah. mean. Like, sometimes yeah. you just gotta that's leave how it. You, that's how you end up with Dragon Ball Super. <clears throat> just hey, leave just, good things. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, same thing with Boruto. Oh, God. Nah, I haven't Boruto. seen Boruto. Nah, Boruto's getting really good right it's now. It's getting really? really good. It's getting but... 200 yeah, episodes but later? 200 episodes <laughs> later? Yeah, that's oh, what no. I'm saying. You gotta stay around that long. I like 200 <laughs> episodes. Oh, my yeah. goodness. That's that's scary, Trya. You gotta yeah, wait that long for something That takes commitment right there. Yeah, well, it's because the anime was just doing its own thing from the manga, and now it's like uh, finally. They lost me at Metal Lee. Now Lee. it's finally getting oh, to like, where I'm the manga good. is. Metal Lee. Huh? Metal Lee. Nah, I'm yeah. Not, yeah, mm. right yeah, yeah. Some of the what's names his son? They came up what's with their for... kid's gonna, name gonna be? Uh, Crystal Lee. I mean, yeah. where we go from <laughs> there? Like, anyway, take but us no, out. But, uh, but yeah, Daisy, thank you again for joining us up here on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Take these with you, and. Uh, I will say, like how we said in the beginning of the episode, you did outbeat me when it came to smiling. So Good catch. I'll give you that. And uh, before we let I'm you sure go, where you're going with that sentence? No. <laughs> yeah, she beat me. She, she's doing it right now. She's doing it right. Hey, it's, ah! like, hey, it's like the dude on Chappelle's show. Remember? Oh he's just like, God. look how he's looking at me. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right he's look, doing it right I'm now. not looking at you. <laughs> I'm not looking at you. <laughs> so look, now he's looking at me. But no, but uh, Daisy. <laughs> yeah. Let everybody in social media land know where they can find you at. Yeah. So on the Twitterverse, I'm at Daisy oh, G yeah. underscore VA. Twitterverse. And, yeah. And my uh, website's linked to that and you'll find me there. So Nice. All Thank right. you. Yeah. Hey, Holler nice, off the Twitter. Hey, simple and clean. <laughs> nice and short. I love <laughs> what it. I mean, hey, know what I mean? Simple and clean. I wasn't even thinking of that. Hey. I was thinking of yeah, Kenny Hart. Okay. Kenny Hart. Me too. <laughs> Hey. Well, I, don't no, know we, what, I don't we, know what he was. Thinking. We had a full conversation on peaches and cream last night, so now <clears throat> the song's fresh in my head. So hey, you, oh, yeah, hey, you do right. some changing, you do some maneuvering. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna start calling you President Mike, Trav. That's hey, what I'm gonna call me whatever you. You President want. Mike. President Mike. <laughs> That's not <laughs> ugly and broke, right? It's not this. You can call me whatever you want, just not hey. ugly and broke. Tell hey, him, as as, hey, as long as it ain't like Mike. Yeah, oh lord. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, leave Bow Wow alone, man. You know hey. that uh Hey he Romeo can... taking care of him. I hey, got it. Hey, Bow Wow oh, that oh. Oh. battle with little Romeo. Wow. Uh-huh. And little Romeo gonna sing that ICDC college. So uh mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to that. But uh <laughs> D, let them know where they can find you at. Uh first and foremost, Daisy, thanks for leveling up with us today. You can find me at rebellious double underscore D23 at Instagram dot com. Trav. Brian, and since you're already on the Instagram, you can find me at ZK Audio and over on the Twitter at T R A V I O S Z K. And of course, if somebody is in need, they in Central Park, they need help, they need a hero. Who they gonna call? They gonna call Spider Man. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, Peter's got it. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Hey, <laughs> hey, but you see what I try to set up Banks uh-huh. to be the hero, and then. Hey. Hey, that's too much for me. No, that's I know. Hey, because he man, does. like, hey, look, Central Excuse Park, they me. need Spider Man, but if Spider Man needs backup, you can find me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, at King Benji mm-hmm. underscore Banks on Twitter and Instagram. And you can look me up on Facebook at Benjamin Banks. I should be the first person to pop up. If not, then I need to contact Mr. Zuckerberg. Thank you, everybody, for watching this new episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. And we'll see you next time up here. Like I always say, keep that pinky up, stay positive. Peace. Thanks again, everybody, for watching another episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe to the channel. Podcast, we got that too. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that bell for further episodes and notifications. Thanks a lot to our patrons. And if you don't mind, join the Patreon. We'll be having new specials coming up soon.